Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel and I thought today I would show you how to bring a watch from dead to life and uh, you know this is an interesting thing this is a delicate watch this is my Patek Philippe my Patek Philippe world time and uh, it's been hibernating hibernating so how would you bring this watch to life well the first thing to do is you want to manually give it a bit of a wind now the Patek manual itself says wind it ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten give it a little shake little shake just to get the the system working and then we set the time now the important thing is when you want to set the time on this piece you always wind it forwards you should never wind a watch backwards never never is a very strong word but yes never never wind it backwards unless it's just a couple minutes just a little bit it's okay under an hour sneak it through but anything more than that you really should be winding the thing forward you've got to wind the little bugger forward even if that means you've got to go around and round and round and round and round that is the way you do it so i'm just winding it forward now and uh, this piece here doesn't have a date function so um, so yes that's how it goes there so wind wind this little baby here uh, it's a little bit before three press it in a little bit of a shake and presto I have set the world time now the other thing is too the world time so I've set the world time that's great what a wonderful way to go there and if we just flip it around when you uh, have a display back you can see the little spindles the little gears the cogs turning yes so that's um that's how you you bring these buggers back to life that's right this is how you do it so very important there Interestingly enough, I had a conversation with a guy who said that uh, he he was told he could wind it up to 20 times. So, uh, how many times should you wind it? Well, it depends on each watch, but um, I probably 10 is more than enough. 10's enough there, and uh, it'll get that little bugger going. I'm Archie Luxury, bringing you wristwatch tips, how to bring a watch back to life from hibernation. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel. And uh, today guys, I just wanted to show you, this is my magnificent, magnificent piece of a la de resistance. This is my world time. A world time, what a fantastic piece. So just having a look here, I just wanted to I just wanted to show you guys my well time and show you a few wonderful features. So let's have a look here. When I'm making this video, it's 3 o'clock and we can tell because at the 12 o'clock position it says Sydney. It says it's 1500 hours. And in LA, in LA itself there, we can see that it's actually LA itself. The time is, what time is it in LA? Wow. Let's have a look. Let's have a look in LA. Nine o'clock, 2100. So uh, we can go around the globe in Paris. It's 6 a.m. London, 5 a.m. In Moscow, it's 8 a.m. And uh, in Bangkok, it's midday. There we go. So uh, I just wanted to show you this beautiful piece beautiful piece look at that Gillesche dial that beautiful dial this is the 5110 probably I would say the nicest dial on the um, the world times out of all the world times I think this is the one to have the paddock 5110 I think this is the one best vestment potential these are an absolute steal 
compared to the 5130 and the 5230. Absolutely stunning critters. Absolutely stunning critters. That's what they are. These are the critters to have. These are critters. These are the critters. So there you go, Archie Luxury. Paddock World Time, tell me what you guys think of that. Nice one, Arch. Great vid. Yeah.